Now let's talk about another plant part that is the flower. All plants produce flowers for the same reason to make seeds that can grow into new plants. I'm sure you have flowers around your house. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of a flower? They come in so many different colors. Now the colorful and open parts of the flower are called petals. But before the flower blossoms, the petals are tightly closed. This is when it's called a bud. The bud sits on small leaf-like structures attached to the stem called the sepals. Remove the petals and sepals and you will see different parts inside. These are male and female parts that help make seeds. The male part of the flower is called the stamen. The female part of the flower is called the pistil. The stamen is further divided into anther and filament. The anther contains a yellow powdery substance called pollen. The top of the pistil is called a stigma. The stigma is covered with a gluey substance that the pollen grains stick to. When a bee or an insect lands on a flower, the pollen from the anther stick to the hair on its legs. When the insect or the bee moves on to the next flower, the pollen is passed from the insect's legs to the sticky stigma and from here transferred to the inner part of the pistil where it is used to make seeds. See the swollen part at the base of the pistil? This is called the ovary. Now if you carefully cut the ovary in half, you will find tiny bead-like structures. These are called ovules. A process called fertilization takes place after the pollen stick on the stigma and reach the ovule in the ovary. After some time, as the ovary matures, it becomes a fruit and the ovule becomes the seed. You are going to study more about this process as you go higher in class. Thank you.